Today we're lettering with fabric paint. With the cellophane cones I've rolled previously, I will fill them with the colors of the fabric paint I'll be using for the project. Depending on the size of my project, I may fill multiple cones with the same color so that I don't have to stop and do this part over again. I've placed a piece of foam core board between the layers of my shirt so that nothing bleeds through onto the back. I'm using a piece of sharpened chalk to draw out the placement of my lettering. I begin lettering the words that will be in the foreground first. For this project, the word eagle will be written in cursive and then the word mom in print. I'll draw out the entire word before going back over and thickening the downstrokes. Be careful to use the tip or a safety pin or straight edge pin to work out any bubbles that you may find in the fabric paint.
I'm drawing out mom in a sans serif all caps print. In a project like this where I have layers that are superimposing on each other, I may want to let this project dry in between layers. Now I'll go back in with my third color and draw the block letters. I'm going to be going back over these letters and filling in the centers with spirals and then going and making a broader outline on the outside. So I'm not too worried if there are some bubbles on this first line. I'm using a spiral motif to fill in my block letters, but really you can fill in block letters with anything. Lines, zigzags, polka dots.
I'll rotate the work while I'm continuing to fill in all the letters to hopefully avoid smudging anything. Once my fills are complete, I'll go back over the outline of the block letters and put in a broader line by applying more pressure to the cone while I'm letting out the color. I'm using glitter fabric paint to add a drop shadow to the word eagles and mom. When you have smudges in fabric paint, more often than not, you're stuck with them. But if you catch them while it's still wet, you can use a little bit of rubbing alcohol to dab it out. Fabric paint typically needs about 24 hours to fully set and dry. For more information and other posts in this series, visit creatively.com slash loveyourlettering too.